Hello, and welcome to the Mobile User Acquisition Show, a podcast to help you unlock tremendous growth for your app. My name is Shaman Rao. I'm the CEO of the boutique growth marketing firm, Rocketship HQ, and host of the podcast, Mobile User Acquisition Show. In each episode, we feature experts in the field of mobile growth and discuss strategies, tips, and pointers from the leading edge of mobile growth marketing. By the end of each episode, you will have gained actionable and tactical insights that will help you make more informed decisions in your own work around growth. The Mobile User Acquisition Show is produced by Meryl Vincent, Content Marketing Manager at Rocketship HQ. Our guest today is Roman Garba, Marketing Director at Tangent. Roman has worked extensively on mobile attribution for many years across a wide variety of apps. In today's episode, he tells us about the much anticipated SCAD Network 4.0 and tells us about what timelines we could expect for all the changes to drop. For a reading of the tea leaves and for a read between the lines of Apple's announcements, definitely check out this episode. I've been following SCAD Network since its first version in 2018. And for all my eight years in the industry, I have not seen more polarizing topic. There have already been a huge number of articles analyzing SCAD Network 4. So I'd like to focus on something different. When advertisers are actually going to get their hands on SCAD Network 4 features. Spoiler alert. Not everything that was presented at WWDC is going to be available this year. I was recently re-watching the SCAD Network presentation from WDC 22 and spotted something that I had not noticed before. Even though web to app attribution was introduced as part of SCAD Network 4, it was not shown on a key slide outlining what would be introduced later this year. I don't think this is a mistake, but a deliberate omission. I believe this shows Apple will release, announce SCAD Network for features in batches, and that web to app is not planned for this year batch. This contrast with previous SCAD network releases, where everything was pushed live in one fell swoop and has important implications for advertisers. Importantly, at the start of the presentation, an Apple rep states that hierarchical IDs and multiple conversion values are the first new features that are coming to SCAD network form. That means that other two announced features web to app attribution and full testing suit are not coming in 2002. You can also make a broader assumption from this that fingerprinting is not going to be clamped down on this year. My reasoning for this is that web to app is the most important missing piece of the SCAD network puzzle. And until it is rolled out, Apple can't definitely claim to have created a comprehensive toolkit for advertisers. A phased release schedule also has implication for testing. Testing features released in 2002 will only support multiple conversion values, new sources identifiers, and fine and coarse conversion values. That means the following feature won't be available this year. Validating ad impression implementation, testing SCAD network postback. Uh, you can rewatch the WWDC video and yeah, it's all there in the slide. Another important point is that many people associate the SCAD network for release with iOS 16. However, Apple has never specified that two are connecting, saying only that SCAD Network 4 would be released this year. It could, could coincide with iOS 
16.1 or 0.3, just like ATT was rolled out on iOS 14.5. And once it is released, it won't cover all of the iOS base. Just like with SCAD Network 3, it was only available for iOS 14.6 users. Or Apple postbacks for developers are available only for iOS 15 users. Apple is finding something similar with SCAD Network 4. And their features will only be available for iOS 16 users. The implication here is that advertisers will need to wait for iOS 16 adoption to reach a significant number of users to feel the full effect of the new features, essentially delaying adoption further. To summarize, SCAD Network 4 will make advertisers' lives a bit easier, but Apple has broken its usual mode by making this a gradual process, which won't reach full power in 2002. Realistically, we're going to have to wait until 2023 to enjoy the full suit of SCAD Network 4. Uh, that's it. Feel free to find me on LinkedIn. Ask any SCAD Network or growth related questions. Thanks for having me here and see you around. For more tips, pointers, and strategies from the leading edge of mobile user acquisition, subscribe to our YouTube channel right here or check out our blog, rocketshiphq.com slash blog.